What's up guys, Brian with NeverState.com again. Deload is over, so the plan for today is to hit a heavy triple on deadlifts. Hoping for around the 660 something. We'll see how it goes. I think it's kind of iffy. We'll see what happens. What's up guys, welcome to the commentary. And it's been a little bit since you've seen a lifting video from me, but it feels pretty good to be back, so I'm gonna get right into it. I will address where I've been the last two weeks later in the video, going a little bit more into depth with why I've been away, but you'll get to that. Right now, what you're seeing is deadlifts. Now, I'm including these warm-up sets simply to show you the speed at which I'm doing them. And I know I've addressed in the past, but you should be trying to do your warm-up sets as explosively as possible. As you can see here around 315, things aren't, they're moving well, but they're not moving super fast and 405 slows down even more. That was kind of the first indicator that this wasn't going to be a spectacular day for me. Now a lot of people have been asking me why I'm deadlifting in Olympic lifting shoes. It's not smart, it's not your best choice. There is some research out there that's actually showing that you may be able to get a little more leverage off the floor, but it does tip you forward. It's definitely not for everybody. But at full disclosure, I've been dealing with a little bit of a foot injury for a couple months now, and to be honest, if I don't have shoes on when I'm applying force to the floor, I'm getting a lot of pain. However, as the weights got heavier, I did feel like the bar was kind of drifting out in front of me and throwing a lot of the pressure in my lower back. So for the 635 set, I decided to take my shoes off. I did the first rep. When I applied force to the floor, my left foot was in a good bit of pain. So I got two and called it a day, but pretty disappointed with that. Well, that didn't go as well as I hoped. 635 for a double is a lot less than I've done before, but first day back, I guess, I don't have a choice, I gotta take it. So since moving weights fast was not working out for me this day, I decided to try something I saw on Mark Bell's super training channel, which is slow motion deadlifts. So this 500 pounds, and it felt like it was moving a lot slower than this. I was trying to deliberately slow it down for like a three second count on the way up. Um, but now looking at it, definitely moved a little faster than that, which was not the intention. Between that, I was getting standard banding crunches for sets of 12, which you're seeing here. I'd recommend them as an ab exercise for, for everyone who wants their squat and their deadlift to go up. And then sets of 20 on grenade pull-ups. So got three sets of slow motion deadlifts, three sets of the crunches, and three sets of the grenade pull-ups to finish out that day. Uh, like I said, it wasn't a good one, but figured call it a day and see how the next one went. That said, if you're interested in increasing your grip strength, I cannot recommend the grenade pull-ups enough. They're amazing. The main movement on the second day was the axle bench press. Now, the axle only weighs 25 pounds, at least mine do, uh, because it's just a hollow piece of pipe, basically. And so what you see here, if you look at the loading, this is 225, but you see the tens, the bumper tens on the inside. I just load them onto the bar at the beginning and treat it like an empty bar because honestly my math isn't that great and my gym math with 45s is amazing but you throw 20 pounds off of that and I'm all over the place. Fortunately my foot plays much less of a role in this day than it does on a deadlift day so this one went a little better for me. Quick tip for anyone out there who's going to try the axle bench press, make sure you roll the axle all the way out to the front of the J cups before you unrack it. Also, slide your eyes underneath the bar even further than you would on a standard barbell because since it's thicker, when you're driving up, you're much more likely to hit those J-cups. You probably don't realize how close you actually come to it when you're doing a standard bench press, but if you guys go back and watch this video, you'll see me slam those J-cups quite a few times, and that's even consciously trying to pay attention to that. Another tip is to take a piece of tape and mark the direct center of your axle because there's no knurling, you have no idea where you're actually at. And if you guys pay attention right there, I'm actually off center a little bit. I felt like I was on center, felt like it was all going to go okay, but when it gets a little tougher, you'll actually see the bar drift over to the left, right there. And that's simply because I'm not holding it where I'm supposed to hold it. And I definitely just slammed it in that J cup. So once again, do as I say, not as I do. What you're gonna see here is 430 for a triple, which is a pretty good number for me. I don't know if it's a PR or not as far as the actual goes. 
getting a little shaky on the bottom there. And I went into this third one, didn't know if I was going to get it. Luckily, my buddy Billy there didn't grab it, and it all went okay. Happy about that. After that, I moved on to some accessory stuff, but the only thing really worth mentioning is this set of dips. So what you're going to be seeing here for the next couple seconds is an unbroken set of 60, which may not be a big deal to some people, but to me it was. A couple videos ago, probably like a month, uh, I did hit a set of 55, but breaking into a new category of the 60 was pretty cool, and I think it definitely is a lifetime PR for me. But I did want to take this time just to thank you guys for staying with me this far into the video. And what I'm going to move on to next is actually me addressing where I've been for the last two weeks, what's been going on with my foot, what the injury actually is, and what my plan is moving ahead. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for staying with me. So where I've been at for the last two weeks. First week was a deload off conjugate trying to get my foot better. For those of you who don't know, back in September, before nationals, I had hurt my foot, but wanted to compete in nationals, so drove on. No big deal, was what it was. A month after that, I had Maryland Strong's man, so I didn't want to take time off to check it out then. Competed in Maryland Strong's man, went really well, happy about it. Didn't help my foot, not at all. But that's why you guys haven't seen me do a whole lot of weighted carries, whether it be farmers, yoke, kegs, stones, all those types of things. And you haven't been seeing me doing much running either. Um, most of my stuff has been pretty static, and even my conditioning hasn't been a ton of impact. Hate conditioning. Hate running worse. Anyway, I took that first week off after conjugate for the deload and kind of expected my foot to improve some. It did not. So then I decided to take another week off just to see if it would get any better. Didn't get any better. Nothing else got worse. It looks like there's an extra bone growing out of my foot. Definitely bumps that shouldn't be there and one of my toes doesn't work correctly. Stupid toes. So anyway, it is finally time to get it checked out so that hopefully I'll be ready for my contest in late May. This week I'm getting x-rays and MRIs done and we'll hopefully find out some answers. Anyway guys, if you're worried about it, I'm going to continue to make videos. I'm probably going to be focusing a little bit more on the how-to, but there still will be workout videos, much like this one. I was hurt the entire time during this one. Hopefully it didn't see too much of a difference. I think it did affect the deadlift. At least that's what I'm telling myself. It's definitely a lie. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. If you leave a comment down below, we'll get back to you. Share this with your friends. Get my name out there. Help me out. Try to help you out. Try to help me out. Come on. So thank you guys for watching. Keep doing what you do, and I will catch up with you next time.